US foreign policy in the Middle East remains unchanged, but is the country any closer to achieving those objectives in a post-Arab Spring Middle East? Jane Wan speaks to US Senator John Bozeman about US foreign policy in the region today and its implications for relations with Israel and beyond. Right now we are seeing turmoil in the post-Arab Spring Middle East. How should US foreign policy proceed in the region following the turn of events in Egypt, Syria and beyond? Well, I think we need to proceed very carefully. I think the important thing is that we let the, the world know that we're very, very concerned, that we want to provide leadership. And uh, the, the question is, you know, right now the, the events are complex. They're literally changing on a daily basis. And, you know, the United States wants to do what's right. How does the politics in the Middle East um, impact on relationships between Jewish and Muslim communities in the US? Is there a danger of that volatile politics over there having some kind of an impact on the communities in the US? Well, you, the United States is an interesting place, and we do a great job of assimilating people. And in the United States, you know, we, we're, we're all Americans, and, and you know, we are all uh, have a common goal, you know, for the most part. That really does uh, make it such that you, you kind of vent the steam. Uh, you know, when people know that they can do these things without recourse. So, so far we've not had any, you know, problems like that. And, uh, you know, we have a long history and for the most part have not had a lot of problems in that regard. In a bid to avoid escalating tensions between these communities, does the U.S. media fulfill its responsibilities to report the issues accurately and foster a greater understanding among the American public of the issues in the Middle East? Well, I think the media has a real role, uh, again, to report the news, to do that fairly and do it accurately. Uh, and certainly, uh, as you say, you know, not, not incite tensions one way or the other. Uh, you know, many Americans are just busy feeding their family, raising their kids. And uh, the Middle East is a long way from America. Uh, so, I, again, I think we, 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 we need to do a good job of expressing to Americans why these things are important. Uh, why it's important to have a stable Middle East, and, and not only uh, uh, you know for that region, but for the entire world. The latest events from the Israel and Palestinian uh, crisis, um, the fact that America is having such a big role in that, and there is an ex-Israeli ambassador to the U.S. who is heading this, does that prove that America is still a major power and a major influence in the Middle East? Well, I hope what it proves is, is that uh, this is something that America is very interested in. And, uh, you know, we'll do all they can to help, uh, you know, uh, do whatever we can do to, to make it such that we can have peace in, peace in the Middle East. And, and certainly, you know, we're, we're a, a large country with large resources, and uh, we are committed to that process. September is an important month for Jane one as it will be celebrating its second anniversary. As such, we're inviting all our interviewees to offer a message of congratulation to the channel. Would you care to say a few words of congratulation to the channel and to its founder, Mr. Igor Kolomoisky? Well, congratulations. And, and again, uh, anything that we can do to uh, communicate, uh, share thoughts, uh, I think that that leads for a better process. And so the fact that you're uh, you know, out and about interviewing people like myself, uh, trying to get different ideas is very, very positive and hopefully uh, that will contribute to the peace process also. Okay. Senator Bozeman, thank you for speaking to Jane Wong.